Yo guys, so I already closed most of my uh, short position. As you can see, $237,000 short position. Currently still in profit about 3.7K on Bybit. I already took out around 2K and I also obviously called this trade like always in my private Discord community, guys. And you can still join uh, for free, by the way, only for now. And uh, yeah, if you want to trade with me, guys, all you have to do, like, all, like I'm always saying, only uh, to, subs to subscribe, obviously, to drop a like on this video. And on top of that, you have just to subscribe, uh, sorry, to um, sign up on one of both links down below in the description on BitGet or on Bybit. On top of that, you will get up, up to $38,000 in deposit bonuses. And if you did one, uh, all of that right if you signed up on one of both exchanges or both just make your first deposit if you're using a different exchange just uh deposit the money into the new account and then click the link down below in the description on discord and then you can basically join completely for free so yeah let's uh talk about bitcoin and we'll give you my next potential price targets guys and explain you exactly what i'm looking out for right now like i said make sure to drop a like right now so as you can see right uh in my discord channel like i said guys i called this trade i told my people in the discord chat hey guys i'm still bullish on the daily however after the last one hour close i'm looking for a quick shot right now to approximately twenty one thousand six hundred dollars and right now as you can see bitcoin dropped like i expected basically all the way down from $22,600 to about $21,800 guys and let me explain what happened quite simple um, Jerome Powell was speaking yesterday I believe yeah I think it was yesterday and he basically said that he is expecting bigger interest rate hikes as anticipated right and this is the reason why the S&P 500 dropped all the way down from 4060 ish right here since he spoke basically um, the S&P 500 dropped approximately 1.7 percent or so all the way down to about 3970 ish right but as you can see already on the S&P 500 after this huge spike we have still a lot of support and we have still a chance to get a continuation all the way up to about 4100 or so so i'm definitely still overall bullish on the daily time frame and as long as we are holding on the daily let me just uh show you real quick on the s p 500 what i'm looking out for because this is the most important chart like always guys i'm always telling you before you are making your decision for bitcoin right before you make your decision for potential trade on bitcoin always look at the traditional markets and as you can see the s p 500 is still looking strong guys we are still moving uh, all the way up right here we are still strong on the daily time frame and right now we just have to hold the strong support between 3930 to about 3980 or so and then we have still the chance to get a bounce all the way up to about 4300 4400 or so right and as you can see also on the daily time frame for example on the s p 500 we are definitely more on the oversold area around 44 so there are more things speaking right now for a bounce than for another pullback so let's take a quick look on bitcoin guys so first of all for our first of all let's talk about the daily real quick daily is definitely looking bearish guys right we are obviously overall already down about 13 percent right now from this previous high where we had the last breakout right as you can see bitcoin unfortunately did not manage to break 25k then we topped out right here on 25k and we dropped approximately 12 to 13 percent and now the daily is definitely looking bearish right but the last time we had such a scenario was right here around 24,200 dollars bitcoin also dropped around 11 percent it was also a very bearish scenario this is why i marked this zone right here in green guys as you can see and the last time we had such uh, a trap right here what happened we had, a, we had a huge short squeeze once again all the way down to about 25k because a lot of people just expected another uh, sell-off right here and we had exactly the opposite playing out right and this is what i'm also seeing right now basically for bitcoin overall guys i believe that this could be just another fake out and we are just consolidating right now for about let's take a look 4 8 12 yeah like for about one day or so yes since yesterday bitcoin is trying to hold 22k at the moment right and i think 
we could actually see on the four hour time frame an inverse head and shoulders pattern right now so this could definitely look for example something like that guys right so if we are looking at it from this perspective right we can see like that for example guys so we can see we have here the left shoulder here the head basically and here the, here the right shoulder right as you can see on the four hour time frame very important guys but if this should be a valid pattern right now that we are looking at right we have to hold this is very important around 22k because we have a lot of people trying to get into a short position at the moment right and if we have more and more people trying to short right now right you have to understand a lot of them they will try to set their stop loss somewhere right here above $22,200 probably somewhere right here so we just have to break we just have to break guys what the f we just have to break basically this resistance range around $22,200 and then we can actually expect the potential breakout all the way up to this neckline that we have on the inverse head and shoulders pattern right on this inverse head and shoulders pattern guys we have we can definitely expect a potential breakout to about twenty two thousand and five hundred dollars once again and then in the best case scenario also all the way up to about 23 or 24k probably because this is the last area of resistance guys another thing i want to mention real quick you have also to understand guys look at this huge gap right here this huge candle this has to be closed sooner or later because this is what happens most of the time like for example right here look at this huge gap guys right this huge breakout without any retests what happened it was closed sooner sooner or later it, it's it's getting closed guys and this is what what's ha what happened right now we had a huge breakout huge gap without any retests and now it's getting closed once again right and this is exactly what could happen once again on bitcoin and then our next potential target would be around 23 23200 to about 23400 dollars but only like i said only like i said the four hour candle has to close above 22200 dollars then we can expect the potential short squeeze on bitcoin to the first target and then the second one so in between right here you can definitely take some profits if you enter a long position guys right but like i said i will talk about my uh, next potential trade setups in a minute guys so make sure to watch until the end and make sure to drop a like right now and make sure to subscribe and make sure to turn on the notifications bell anyway so this would be basically the bullish scenario right so let's talk about the bearish one because we have also a bearish scenario if bitcoin should break the four on the four hour time frame this level right here around 22k right if bitcoin is breaking 22k guys then in the worst case scenario in my opinion if bitcoin is breaking below 22k we have still a lot of support around 21,500 dollars on the daily look at this look how important the support is guys this is why i'm always telling you keep it simple if you want to trade keep it simple always try to trade support and resistance and that's it right you have you can also use some simple sma lines and stuff like that but overall you all you always just want to use most of the time supply and demand support and resistance right so first of all i want to mention also real quick guys on the four hour time frame by the way the rsi is also oversold rsi right now is around 35 this is also another huge sign that there could be a potential breakout coming on bitcoin so make sure to like i said first of all if you want to know how i'm trading it like i said just sign up on one of both exchanges down below in the description and join the vip discord community completely for free only for now the, the spots are getting closed sooner or later guys make sure to take advantage of that if you want to know how i'm trading it but basically the point that i'm trying to make guys if you want um uh sorry if we are breaking below this blue support around 22k we have still on the daily obviously this huge area of um demand guys right because as you can see it was previous resistance right here and flipped basically into new support right here look at this resistance flipped into new support and this is why it was also the reason why 
Bitcoin was able to hold this level successfully around $21,700 and we had this breakout because we had a lot of short positions covering the shorts right here and this was also the reason why we had a lot of demand and a lot of buying pressure around $21,700. So this is basically the point that I'm trying to make right now. Even in the worst case scenario, right, if Bitcoin is breaking below this blue support and we are closing one four hour candle below 22k, we have still a lot of support around $21,500 and the daily on and the four hour time frame in my opinion are still looking bullish guys right we are still making look at this we are still making higher lows as you can see we have one two and another third higher low right now so this is a very important pattern that you has to, that you have to understand because even if bitcoin is down like 13 percent from this top right now we are obviously in my opinion still looking strong because there are a lot of indicators right now that there could be a potential sign of reversal for bitcoin on the smaller time frames so if you want to trade all this volatility if you want to take advantage of that like i said join the vip trading community down below in the description sign up on bitget or on buy bit with the links down below in the description if you if you trade on buy uh, in, on bitget you will get up to eight thousand dollar in deposit bonuses and up to 15 percent trading fees and on buy bit up to thirty thousand dollars in deposit bonuses i'm always trading on two different accounts one for swing trading one for scalping and you should also do the same anyway so how can we take advantage of this current situation so what we can do right now for example if you are someone who are looking let's say for a potential support trade right if you want to get into a long position right now you can for example just an, as an example guys right for example if you want to get into a long position you can set your stop loss maybe below this blue support line not financial advice obviously set your take profit i would set my take profit personally between 22,300 to about 22,400 dollars and i would also if bitcoin is breaking out right now and i'm right if Bitcoin is breaking up to these levels right here, you want to set your stop loss if we are breaking above this level back at your break even entry point. Just in case that we are seeing a fake out, you are getting stopped out, you are getting stopped out and you're not losing any money. And then if you want to get into a short position, what you can do also, for example, right, you can wait if Bitcoin is breaking this blue, this blue uh, support area right here right and if people are getting stopped out and liquidated we can actually see a move all the way down to about $21,500 what I already mentioned before and what you can do in this case would be a potential um, short trade right here set your stop loss maybe around 22k for example right if you risk like let's say $500 on this trade set your take profit $21,500 you can make up to $2,000 in profit with one single trade and yeah this is what I'm looking out for right now like I said guys I will keep you updated in my VIP discord chat if you have any questions also also by the way join the free telegram chat uh, link is also down below in the description but overall like I said on the four hour time frame things are looking bullish because we are just forming another potential higher low and on the smaller time frames i'm also expecting a small bounce because like i said for our daily time frame uh, rsi is around 40 then we have the four hour time frame rsi around 35 and especially also if we are looking for example at the sma lines we can also see guys sma lines are somewhere around twenty three thousand three hundred dollars basically the average price of the last 200 four hour candles is around 22 23 thousand two hundred dollars and as you can see if the price is moving away too much from the 200 sma lines then sooner or later it will basically balance out and the price will move near the 250 sma line once again because as you can see this is also what happened for example right here price was far away from 250 sma line and then we had another huge breakout so yeah guys like i said i'm keeping you updated if you want to join my vip trading community drop a like drop a comment and uh, subscribe to my channel turn on the notifications bell sign up on bitget and on bybit with the links down below in the description stay safe guys don't get tracked and see you for another one peace